Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome to more Rebel Ink Escalation with the new Dollars and Disasters DLC. We are resuming our official scenarios Mega Brutal Guides with Before the Storm. Scientists are concerned about reports of seismic activity in Devil's Peak. We will be sending teams to ascertain what is happening. Now, if you watched my previous video with the billionaire on the Devil's Peak map, you know that that map is supposed to have an active volcano, and that is the primary challenge of the map. That hasn't happened yet, though. This scenario is, in fact, a prequel to the actual main campaign map. And the victory condition is completely different. We are going to be attempting to gather seismic team and hold off the insurgents long enough to gather enough data so we know that the volcano is going to erupt and start evacuating the region. And that is it. The result is, this is a very action-packed scenario. It's actually fairly difficult and takes a fair bit of luck and quick reaction times. But every attempt is pretty quick. So we're going to jump into this one and pray that this works out well for me. Now, I do think it is necessary you get the remote specialist for your starting advisor. That extra specialist can actually be pretty helpful, and I'll explain about more about why later. There's no point in going for the tribal elder here, which would be my usual choice, because the insurgents are going to spawn really early on no matter what. So militia chief just makes sense. It reduces their capability, making it easier to get your first footing. Then there's a the credit manager. Now, this is a weird pick for me, and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But since you're trying to go really fast, being able to spend money you don't have in order to get a soldier unit out just a little bit faster can help you. But watch your reputation because it's going to be very easy to lose a lot. So don't go too crazy on this guy. The local politician, I think, is an absolute necessity in order to maintain some stability. If you don't have this guy, I think you're going to have a bad time. Military recruiter is probably uh, a kind of iffy pick. You could go for something like the war hero instead. Um, I only think I have enough time for one long extension of my coalition soldiers. So I think this is going to be a fine pick for me. And then you could go for logistics expert. I think you could also go for something like like the Tactician or the Quartermaster, and that could work as well. An extra garrison is a bit of RNG, but if it spawns in the right place, can actually make a very big difference. We'll try for the Logistics Expert and see if that's going to work. All right, Mega Brutal. This one's going to be called Scorched Mission. Well, that seems appropriate. All right, seismic activity has been reported here. We have to deploy our remote specialists. I'll explain a little bit about why that matters in just a second. One thing to note right off the bat is the location for your stabilized zones. Um, you want to place your HQ pretty much in the center of the map so you're able to easily get around on the crossroads, try to respond to as many zones as quickly as possible. If these zones spawn, the uh, stabilized zones spawn really far away from where you want your HQ to be, my recommendation, go ahead and just restart. You need to preserve these zones, if at all possible. So my recommendation, wait until you get to a position like this, and then go ahead and place down your HQ, and then, I know some people think this is kind of cheaty, but save the game. This is your starting condition, the challenge is still there, you just don't have to keep, like, fishing for a better situation. Okay, with this done, let's go ahead and get to the government. We are going to be going for district representatives, some effective procurement, and some extra census data immediately. I'm down a couple of bucks into the negative, but that's not a big deal. Now, we do get a special governor type. This is the geologist. The geologist is going to be able to give us access to remote specialists right off the bat with some of our units. And we are going to need those very badly. We also are going to start with two levels of dirt roads, which is pretty good. In fact, the fact that we start off with infrastructure discussion means if we want to, we could go into debt and start working on some roads a little bit early. And that's not a bad plan because mobility is key in a scenario like this. That said, don't get too um, complacent as far as getting lots of military units and infrastructure. You do still need to stabilize one or two more zones if you want to have a chance of winning this. Otherwise, your reputation is going to be out of control. The insurgents are already up and are running. That's a little scary. Um, I could go ahead and pick up the highways right now, or I could go ahead and start picking up some military units. And I think we have to go ahead and pick up the first one now. I want to get the highways, but we have to hold off on that for a brief moment, because any second now, we're going to see seismic activity pop up. There it is. Let's go ahead and deploy our unit up over here. I'll click on this event so you can see what's going to happen. We have seismic activity detected. You have to have a unit with the remote specialist in order to then investigate. If you can do so, you make progress towards your, uh, your victory condition. This is why having an extra attachment is actually pretty darn handy and should not be underestimated. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the next round of the highways, but I do need to get some additional units uh, pretty early on. I'm not confident I'm going to be able to make this in time. I think I got very unlucky here. This is probably the literal worst location that the seismic activity could have spawned, and I'm not going to arrive in time. So tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and reload that save. I know it sounds cheaty, but we're just going to go ahead and reset, because this is just kind of a scenario it's really hard to come back from. Not a mega brutal. You can't do it. 
Okay, so we've got the highways. I got those a little earlier this time. The uh, insurgents should be spawning. We're going into debt to get a unit because I'm expecting a pop-up. There it is. All right, this is doable. Let's get in over here. We can go ahead and pop that button uh, like so. And I want to show you what's going to happen. So by doing this, we have increased the peace process specifically by a value of 10. That is 10%, 10 out of 100, right? If you can get these events 10 times with a remote specialist, you automatically win the map. That's how it's going to be. So this is your objective. It's not about beating the insurgents. It's about holding them back long enough to get 10 of these. And that sounds really easy. But when the insurgents spawn as early as they do and start getting out of control, and it's really hard to keep them contained and you're losing the same city zone again and again, and you've got to peel units off to go and respond, it gets pretty darn difficult. So if we can get the insurgents clamped down really quickly here, we've got a chance. If we can't, this is going to be a really nasty event. So let's see where those insurgents are going to spawn. They are right over here. Okay, where could the camp be? Could be here, here, could be here. I don't see any sign of the question mark yet. Could even be on this zone. It's not as likely, but it could be. Um, I'm gonna try popping in over here. It can't be here, it might be this. And let's go ahead and get another unit. Yes, I know I'm going into a small amount of debt. Be wary of this. We haven't lost any reputation yet, but the more debt you go into, the more this is gonna start going down. Uh, we also really need to get water initiatives kind of early on. They can make a very big difference if we can get those, so we'll try for that. Let's get in over here, see if we can find this. I want to get intel, no sign of the camp. There it is, it is right here. Okay, so we're going to find this, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the remote specialist here now. We might as well give it to this guy. That's two units now that can respond to seismic activity instead of only one. I'm going to try to get in here and see if we can fight this guy off and just kick him into the mountains before he gets too much um, power. And let's go ahead and go into a little debt and get some water going. Water, super important on this map. It is in the base game as well, and there we go. Okay, hang on. Before we go fight these insurgents, actually, this guy needs to get over here because that's more seismic activity. This is where having the roads is really helpful. It lets you fight the insurgents more effectively. It lets you relocate your units so you can get off the front lines, deal with this quickly, get the investigation, then pop back in over here and get right back into the fight. Now, let's be aware, by the way, there should be another insurgent camp somewhere on Mega Brutal, and I haven't spawned it yet. There it is. Never mind. It's right there. Forget these guys where they are. Let's get down over here and see if we can get rid of this. The more we can prevent these guys from uh, spawning in a lot of locations and joining up territory, the better. It really bothers me, by the way, that these guys spawned right next to my stable zones. That's a problem. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that camp. These guys are moving down here. That's a problem. They spawned in my stabilized areas. Guess what? That means I'm going to lose a key stabilized zone, so my reputation is going to start sinking, which is obviously a huge problem. All right, well, at least we're going to be able to get these guys under control a little bit. Let's move you up over here. Uh, we'll kick you guys out. Let's go save the main roads. Try to kick these guys back over here. Really don't want these guys connecting a lot of territory. It would be wise to get myself another unit at this point. And what are people asking for out of curiosity? More water, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the water expansion. We'll do that. And then I'm going to get the outreach office just so we can roll out initiatives a little faster, including those roads. Let's get the investigation taken care of. We have got to protect the urban environments. In a way, this is not a bad starting location as far as the insurgents, because if we can keep them in a corner over here away from the city, we're fine. It's when you start losing the cities again and again and again that you start running into huge problems. Let's get over here, try to retake this zone a little bit real quick. Go ahead and fight this back. We found another camp. That's actually very fortunate. Okay. Uh, we could go for the airstrikes to give myself a slight edge when I'm fighting. It's risky. Would it be better to go for another unit? We're a couple dollars off. I think it's better to just go for raw units, if I have to be honest with you. Because um, the more reinforcements we can get to keep these guys under control, the sooner, the absolute better. So we're going to try for that. Let's hope that that's not a mistake. Um, I'm going to try moving you forward up over here since they just left this zone behind. Let's move over here. There's going to be some investigate. Nope, that's not it. Okay, hang on. Sorry. Uh, full reform, get free reputation. Totally worth it. Thought it was going to be seismic activity. It was not. Haha, -ha, silly me. Oh, there's the seismic activity. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get some reinforcements there. These guys should retreat into the mountains. We're protecting the city. This zone's under attack, but we're kind of okay. Let's get this guy into position. We're trying to prevent these spawns. So far, this is actually kind of okay. 
So we just wait for a minute longer. I really don't want them getting these mountains if possible. We can send the remote specialist, but I feel like I need to leave another unit here on the city because they're going to be attacking this kind of relentlessly, if I'm honest. It's going to happen. We can try to kick them off the roads, and that might make my life a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and investigate before we lose that opportunity. And then I'm going to send these guys to do reinforcements for a second. We're at 40% progress. That's what I'm looking for. Um, we do need, apparently, more stuff. People are trying to roll that out. Do we go for roads? Do we go for telecom? Do I go for things like the PR media office? I mean, we need to get support. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Universal Justice and the PR media office. Yes, that kicks me into debt, which means I could lose a little bit of reputation. But so far, so far, this isn't half bad. Let's fight here with reinforcements. We can definitely win that. This is not um, what I was expecting it to be. We can go for the foreign relations, and I guess it's okay. They spawned up over here. Is there another camp? Because that looked like a new thing to me. Um... We could try running up over here. I want them in this corner is the thing. I want them in the corner. I'm looking for a camp. Do you see any other camps? I'm making sure. I'm paranoid of finding more camps. There's got to be a camp here somewhere. I'm positive. I think it's right here. Uh, all right. Let's try moving some units over here and keep these guys in the cage. All right. And also, uh, let's go for the foreign relations office just so I can get this done without having to worry about getting... Um Something wrong there. Actually, this ended up being really nice because it turns out the next uh, seismic activity is here anyway. We're preventing these guys from connecting a lot of zones. This is good. We're going to try to fight these guys every area where we get the opportunity. The lack of stability is now starting to build up. If we had this third zone still stabilized, we'd probably be okay. But so far, the game's not been kind to me in that way. So let's get over here. Let's find out if there's a camp. There probably isn't. I guess I'm wrong. Maybe there wasn't anything spawning over here. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Whatever, all right, we get this taken care of, we're at 50%. I'm going to go ahead and fight these guys where we have the opportunity. We could actually try to crush this small group. It's a little risky to do that, but let's try just so I can surround these guys. But I'm watching for more camps. Don't forget that they can spawn more. I'll bet you the camp's actually right here. And with that known, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the airstrikes. Yes, I'm going into a little debt. Yes, it's going to start costing me a little bit of reputation with the credit manager. But it's okay if it means I can take out some of these camps. That's what I'm going for. So they're surrounded. They should die. There's the camp. This guy's going to go running off. Uh, we now have got to... Well, let's get the camp out of the way. All right. And now we move you here. I think we got enough time because we've upgraded some roads. These guys are going over here, and that's fine. We're protecting the city. This is going to be a very frequent target for the insurgents. They do tend to like going for cities. So that's a thing. Camp right over here. Found it. Let's go for that. Now, one thing to note, uh, we don't have to have only two remote specialists. You can buy more with the geologist. It costs $10. But you can go ahead and get more of these attachments if you feel like that's going to be necessary. So we will probably want that. We're okay. Come on, get over here a little faster. Woo, that got closer than I thought it would, to be honest. A lot closer. And what is this? A warlord, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to spend four bucks, accept some corruption, and decrease the number of hostiles. Because, in a way, that actually might be fairly helpful to me. Let's get rid of this dang camp. An airstrike would have been appropriate. But no, you didn't want to do that, huh? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's send you over here, you over here, and you... Honestly, let's just go fight them in this zone if we can, but we may need to pull back from this. Actually, I'm going to move you back to the center of the map. I'm okay with one guy sitting here. That's not a big deal. We'll lose this zone, but it's okay. It's more important I have somebody available to quickly respond to the seismic activity, because so far this is going fine. This is actually going exactly the way that you want this to go. Anything else people are reporting that they're concerned about? No. And we're almost stabilizing a couple of zones. The lack of stability is kind of okay right now that we've got three zones under control, though. That's not terrible. We can go ahead and pick up some additional roads like highways and stuff, and I guess I will when I've got some money. The more we've got that, the better. Here we go. All right, so these guys are in position, so we'll be able to do this. Hello, there was something else over here. I missed it. There's another camp, or they just did something weird. All right, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and investigate. And I don't see the camp still... Did it spawn in the city? Now I'm worried that I'm going to have to defend a city. And this is where the game suddenly gets hard. If you're in a position where you need to defend two cities, now you have to really micromanage how you're going to deal with these insurgents, and it can get kind of out of control. Let's try sending someone over here to go and fight these guys, prevent them from getting too much into the main road. Okay, there's the camp right there, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and send another guy over here, and we can respond to this one fairly quickly, reveal the camp at least. Uh, we're going to cover this up and pray that this doesn't come back to bite me. Let's go ahead and fight you off, though I think they're going to come down to the city in a second. All right, getting rid of the camp. Actually a perfect location for an investigation. Can't be upset about that. Good. All right, and then let's send, uh, as soon as we get the zone back, you over here to the, whoop, to the city because I want to make sure that we keep this protected. They are about to attack me over here. Let's get down that direction, and let's keep an eye on what's going on in this area. They'll take this city. 
or this uh, tile, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna get another coalition soldier because it's worth it. I'm gonna get a remote specialist and we're gonna go ahead and attach that onto, you know what, let's hold on to that for this moment, but we may need that in just a little bit. What's this? All right, that's just an airstrike. That's fine. What's this? That's, an, okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and send you here. Let's go ahead and do the attachment. Bada boom, we're at 90%. All right, so I'm waiting for just one more of these to pop up and I've got enough reputation. Like I said, this is going perfectly so far. It's not unusual to have to spread your units out across several different insurgent zones. They get a lot of connected tiles. You go heavily into debt trying to fix it, and all of a sudden you lose so much reputation, game over. And if you lose a city, I think more than once, it's basically GG. If you do not stabilize a third tile, it's basically GG. So you have to go for at least a couple of these support initiatives. Water, almost always going to be a good choice. From here on out, though, we can afford whatever's coming. All right, that's it. Let's go ahead and move up over here. I'm going to send everything I've got in this area. It doesn't matter all that much. Um, pesticides, I don't really care. Let's just go ahead and do this. As long as someone arrives, we should now be okay. I think you. I don't think you have to actually control the zone. I think we can just investigate, and that is it. And that's 100%. Devil's Peak is going to erupt! All right, we've crunched the data, and a disaster is imminent. To be continued in the campaign map. And then the zone's going to go ahead and just stabilize, and we're fine. It's a really fun scenario because the objective is completely different and it's action-packed right out of the gate. But seriously, getting lucky with the insurgents is kind of a trick, and then you've really got to be on top of that and respond very, very quickly. If you can do that, this scenario is not that bad, even on Mega Brutal, but it's very easy for it to get out of control. So don't be afraid of restarting it several times. Don't be afraid of saving when you find the optimal starting conditions. Otherwise, you're going to be all right. 43,804 points, five stars. I'd say not half bad. Great scenario. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.